With one of Hawaii's two refineries now for sale and gas prices fluctuating, where do we stand on alternative energy choices? Now, one energy expert says renewables are not the answer, at least not yet. The refiners look at the long term. International oil consultant Ferdinand Fisheraki says he was not at all surprised by Tesoro's announcement to sell its refinery and 32 local stations, a move he expected first by Chevron, which owns the state's other oil refinery. They see there's a no growth market, expensive crude, and possibly losing ground. The downsides of refining oil in Hawaii have been building for years. All crude oil imported and from the Asian market, Indonesia and Malaysia, proving to be even more expensive than the Middle East, especially after Japan's earthquake and tsunami. Then the push to renewables to lower Hawaii's carbon footprint and wean off that expensive crude. Robotics, wind farms, electric cars. The state's goal now, 40% renewable energy by 2030. But Fisher Rocky says there's a problem. Often people in Hawaii think that if you use sun or wind or ocean, it's free. It's not free. He says right now, renewable energy costs are even higher than oil costs, about $100 a barrel for oil, up to 200 for renewables. He expects it will be our grandchildren who will see renewable energy prices at reasonable levels. The renewable push we do would be slowly, and I emphasize very slowly, over a 20 to 40 year period of time. In the meantime, he believes another alternative is in order and within our reach. The federal government has already labeled natural gas as what they call a transition fuel. That definition allows natural gas companies to take advantage of tax breaks and incentives, reasons to do business and bring business. It's an option he says Hawaii may no longer be able to avoid. Natural gas, I believe, is the bridge from uh, hydrocarbon to low carbon economy. But natural gas is in no way free from critics. Some experts say methane released from natural gas damages our atmosphere, possibly at much higher levels than once thought. The natural gas industry argues better technology has reduced those emission levels. Then there is the controversial practice of fracking, a high-pressure injection process to break up underground shale to release those gas deposits.